Good morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Markets are lower. Uh, beans at the lows down six six, six cents at three thirteen sixteen. The high was thirteen twenty eight. Corn also at the lows down three cents at five seventy four. The high was five eighty. In Chicago, we at the lows at six fifteen down seven cents. The high was six twenty four. Stocks are lower. Dollar is higher. Crude is uh, higher, and gold is higher. For the soybean market, again, it's kind of a lagger in trying to hold this 1304 to 1380 trading range um, with uh, 1304 a double bottom, which offers some technical support unless we take that out. Uh, Brazil is still exporting beans cheaper to buyers than U.S., and we'll probably see a drop in U.S. exports and an increase in the carryout. Uh, the market's also hoping for um, some support from the fact that U.S. Midwest is drier than normal to this point. With the long holiday weekend and CBOT closed Monday, Tuesday could be a very important day if the two-week forecast is still dry. Over in the corn market, <clears throat> again, uh, we held up against tested resistance at 580. I wonder if support is at 520 with 550 kind of in the middle of that trading range. Ethanol data today, we'll see if it's supportive. On corn demand domestically, basis levels for the feeders is strong, while our export market soon uh, could see competition from Brazil with their harvest starting in, in uh, two weeks. We we'll also haven't got any real news, solid news, about the corridor and if it's going to be open. There were a few vessels that were inspected. The Ukraine's complaining that they're not getting the vessels at key Ukraine ports. <clears throat> We also note that uh, Midwest is, is dry, and uh, we'll see if uh, coming back from the long holiday, if uh, the two-week forecast continues to be dry. It's still early uh, to hurt the corn crop. Some agronomists feel that this dryness is helping the root systems go deeper into subsoil moisture, and actually a little stress uh, helps the crop at this time of the year. So we'll just kind of see what June uh, has in store for us with our weather guys still looking for below normal rains in parts of Iowa, Illinois, and Missouri. Wheat market also on the defensive, mostly from a demand standpoint. Uh, Russia continues to offer, and the East Bloc uh, continues to offer wheat lower prices than U.S. And we just have to watch weather. We're finally getting some rains over most <coughs> of the Canadian prairies. Western Saskatchewan and eastern Alberta is kind of missing out. North Dakota, though, is getting some rain. Europe is fine. Uh, Russia, the spring wheat areas of Russia is dry. Uh, Australia is uh, turning drier. And we still have uh, hard red runner wheat areas down in the plains now shifting a little bit, especially Oklahoma and Texas, to too much rain. And could that cause a quality issue there? It was interesting that we did see uh, an Illinois Wheat Association crop tree yesterday that came out with an astounding 95 bushel wheat yield for Illinois versus the USDA's uh, 78. So again, choppy trade. Uh, maybe not next Tuesday we'll have a little bit more uh, clarity as far as what the Midwest weather is going to be uh, going into early June.